This video is all about CSR or corporate social responsibility. So what is that? Basically, it's the idea that a business, maybe your business, should be operating on principles and policies that make a positive impact on society and the environment. So, you know, not just thinking only about the bottom line, but thinking about the planet you live on and the people around you. CSR has been around for a while. You might now know CSR as sustainability or ESG. They're kind of similar, kind of different. But basically, the reason you would need a CSR program or report at your business is maybe because of investors asking, or maybe your customers are asking, employees are kind of putting pressure on you, or maybe uh, bankers are asking you too. So CSR, what are the areas or themes within CSR? Well, I touched on this already, but let's dive in a little deeper. Environmental responsibility. People wanna see that your business cares about the planet. Do you have eco-friendly practices or policies? Do you track energy efficiency? What about the materials your business uses? Next would be ethical responsibility. Do the workers at your company have fair wages, health and safety, um, proper treatment? What about even customers using your product or your service? Are they safe? Then giving back to the community. Does your business care? Do they donate time, money into doing what is right? And finally, economic responsibility. It's sort of the three P's. People call it the triple bottom line. People, planet, and profit. Being good is good for business. So of course you wanna make sure your business grows and is profitable and can pay your people, but definitely not at the detriment of society or the planet. That's a little bit about social responsibility, but I wanna talk about the benefits and then we'll wrap. Benefit number one, business benefits. Honestly, I have seen this with my own two eyes. It is good for business to be good. When you think about a P&L statement, profit, what, uh, how do you make profit? Well, you generate revenue. And so in order to generate revenue, you have to have a good reputation, a great product. People wanna buy your service or your product. And in order to do so, sometimes having you know good uh, reputation will help you increase your margins or keep customers or, or generate new business. You could also potentially get a better cut on a loan uh, from a bank or an investment because your company cares about people and planet. Expenses, if you can cut your expenses, good for you. That helps the bottom line too, right? So when you think about ways to cut expenses, it could be reducing spend on energy, maybe reducing the need to buy so many materials um, during the creation process. All of these ways can help save you money. Also motivated and happy employees don't churn as much. They're more productive. It's kind of crazy how helpful CSR can really be to your business's bottom line. There's benefits for your consumers too, benefits for the environment and benefits for your community around you. Lots of companies are adopting CSR in their own business, or they're calling it something slightly different like ESG or environmental social governance. Maybe they're calling it sustainability. I honestly don't care what they call it. I'm just so happy businesses are now seeing the value in making sure their business is thinking about the external world and not just the bottom line of their business. I hope this was helpful to you. There's lots of CSR consulting options out there if you ever need any help. Um, and also if there's a company or two that you love and maybe you invest in or you buy lots from, go and see if they have a CSR report on their website. It'd be interesting to find out what they're doing to help the environment, to help people, and really just to help our everybody grow. I hope this was helpful to you and thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.